Hi everyone, it's August White here, live streaming for the Young Turks on the ground at Standing Rock. And so uh, I just came through the checkpoint to get to the remaining camps, 7th um, generation camp and the Eagle's Nest and uh, Upper Sacred Stone camp here um, in Standing Rock, North Dakota. And these camps are just located north of Cannonball Town. Um, and as I was coming through the checkpoint, which is occupied by BIA officers as well as Federal Park Rangers, um, I was handed this letter, which I'm going to turn around and show you guys. So they handed me this as I was driving through the checkpoint, which is basically saying anyone who is on this property after today is trespassing and will be arrested or have their possessions confiscated um, and it is authorized here by the Superintendent Bureau of Indian Affairs Standing Rock Agency um, so I'll let you guys look it over and I'll read it to you guys so it says final funding of trespass to those persons now unlawfully occupying or in possession of lean warrior allotment without a valid lease or permit on February 15th 2017 the superintendent Bureau of Indian Affairs, Standing Rock Agency, issued a public trespass notice concerning allotment number 302-2275B, um, also referred to as the Lean Warrior Allotment, described as, and then a bunch of numbers and letters, as you can see. Um, so the notice was based on the fact that unauthorized individuals, none of whom own an interest in the property had moved on to 302-2275B, which is federal trust property, without proper authorization or without a valid lease um, pursuant to the regulations found at Title 25 of the Code of Federal Regulations. So, I'm not going to read the whole thing right now, but um, I'll post a photo on the page later so you guys can see. But basically it's saying we all have to get out of here. So... Most people in the camp have actually already kind of left today. Um, it's a lot more empty than it was two days ago here in the Eagle's Nest, uh, Upper Sacred Stone. Um, because people kind of got that message over the last couple of days, as well as LaDonna has been asking people to leave um, because it helps her chances of basically being able to create some sort of um, sustainable village or community here in the long run and having people come back potentially in a few months um, is my understanding so right now it's kind of like a lot of people packing up and getting ready to move out because tomorrow is the final day um, so I'm gonna go around camp kind of show you guys some scenes of what it's like here the emptying out people leaving maybe talk to some people about you know where they're going next um, and see what people have to say about this letter and their thoughts on that I think this is some information that we're gonna have to get out to the public so everyone knows like yeah it's t it's time to go um, unless you want to get arrested or charged with trespassing again um, but it does seem like this is kind of the final the final stand for the camps on the ground here directly in Standing Rock I know there's a lot of camps and resistance movements popping up all around the country, down in Cheyenne River Territory, um, in Iowa, you know, Florida, Oregon, BC, all over, and these movements are going to keep on happening. But right now, it seems like the on-the-ground resistance here in Standing Rock is, is you know, kind of coming to an end to a certain degree. I don't think everyone would agree with that, but that's that's what I interpret this letter as meaning. Um, so we'll go talk to some more people and see see what's going on. So as you can see, this is the camp. All of this space right here used to be a fighting ride. Yeah. So we're gonna have some other people check it out here in the veterans respond tent. Posting on their page, we just left the checkpoint and camp is getting raided right now. And I'm like, no, they're not. It's more line. They mind being alive. Yeah. Right? yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. Hold that what is the name of this live stream? I said um, joint media update from Sacred Stone Camp. Okay, that's a good one. I always.
always put the date too so that when people share it, they're like, okay, this happens right now. Because they can't look at the date. Alright, I'll, I'll wait for these guys to get ready. Um, we got Ed Higgins as well as some other journalists from Veterans Respond who are waiting to share this information and go live. Um, I'll just let you guys kind of see some views of the camp right now, where we're at. It's really cold today. down past those snowy hills there, kind of across the valley where you see those fields and the snow and the trees in the background there. Um, that is where the camps that were raided over the last few days were, uh, Osheti Sikawan, also known as Osheti Ayate, and uh, Rosebud Camp. They were down that way, and uh, now up here on these hills are where the two remaining camps are in this area. The seventh generation camp, also known as Black Hoop Camp, and uh, the Eagle's Nest here, which is part of Sacred Stone, the original camp, um, that actually started this movement on the ground in Sandy Rock. So I'm gonna go back in this tent and we'll, uh, we'll let these other guys add any information they want to share on this letter and thoughts on moving forward and getting out of here. Black snake killers. So, this document um, is not, we are not being raided. Let's make that real clear. No, no, I can go ahead and read it. Um, Final finding of trespass to those persons now unlawfully occupying or in possession of the lean warrior allotment without a valid lease or permit. A lot of forked tongue going on there. Okay, on February 15, 2015, the Superintendent uh, Bureau of Indian Affairs, Standing Rock Agency issued a public trespassing notice concerning allotment number uh, 302 2275-B, also referred to as Lean Warrior Allotment, described as the and a lot of um, a lot of math. I will there, right? I will post a picture of this document yeah, we'll immediately out. after this live stream is over, so you the, guys have the words yourself. The notice was based on the fact that unauthorized individuals, none of whom own an interest in the property, had moved into 302 2275B which is federal trust property without proper authorization or without a valid lease pursuant to the regulations found in Title 25 of the Code of Federal Regulations, CFR Part 162. In this notice, uh, individuals unlawfully occupying the subject property had 10 days to show cause why BIA should not find them in trespass. So that was the 15th to the 25th. As of today, there are still unauthorized persons residing on this trust tract. This act constitutes an act of uh, trespass as defined under the Title 25 Code of Federal Regulations uh, on the part of all persons who are eagle illegally residing on this tract. Therefore, all unauthorized persons still residing on Tract 302-2275-B are hereby directed to vacate the property immediately. Failure to do so will result in said persons removed from the property. This trespass will remain in effect for the con conduct identified herein for a period of one year from the date of publication of this notice. Mm. Oh, so a year, okay. This I'll trespass see you in a year, standing see you in a year. Uh, <laughs> Come annual, back for an annual, anniversary. Annual pilgr pilgrimage. Uh, <laughs> this trespass notice is not subject to appeal under 25 CFR Part 2. In the event BIA determines that the trespass notice was issued in error, it will withdraw this notice. Will you please just say error one more time for us? Error, error. <laughs> uh, <The> Boston. <Boston's> <laughs> if you have any questions or require any additional information, please contact the Realty Office at 
854-3430 or stop in the office located in Fort Yates, North Dakota. Written correspondence may be addressed to the attention of Superintendent, Superintendent at Post Office Box E, Nor, uh, Fort Yates, North Dakota, 58538. And it's signed, Sheila White Mountain, Superintendent. Okay, so for those of you who don't understand accents. Yeah, that's a lot of uh, full time. Um, Basically, it says you have to leave. Text. And if you don't, you're going to get federal trespassing. That's by Allegedly. tomorrow, correct? By that's tomorrow. by tomorrow. So yeah. we need all hands on deck here. This is a community effort, guys. Oh, yeah. Check Please in with your neighbors. Out, we right? are not currently being raided. Please yes. dispel any false rumors. Come help your neighbors. Break down tents. I know we that Michigan help camp needs help breaking down. down a tent. We've yep. got two veterans respond tents. That We're in a tent right down. now. we got to get broken down. we so. gotta, we got to get some supplies out of the kitchen. Hi, Mom. <laughs> um, <sorry. laughs> My mom is what? Someone right said, I love your um, accent. Read it again. <laughs> <laughs> Say error again. Uh, uh, error? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you guys just basically saw the other media or some of the media on the ground here um, releasing that information that I just told you guys and you know getting the word out that it is you know the final day for us to to pack up and leave this camp without facing legal legal trouble. So we'll check back in. Um, if we have anything else, I want to show you guys here on the ground again today. Um, for now, I'm gonna go chase down some people to uh, to kind of figure out where people are going to be going.